fire Nathaniel Hackett. Fire Nathaniel Hackett. Fire Nathaniel Hackett. Fire, fire, fire Nathaniel Hackett. Not because Hackett blew this game single-handedly, but because you lost to the only bigger clown show in the NFL, your arch rival, the Las Vegas Raiders, 22-16 to in overtime when you had the ball in the fourth quarter with the lead in the waning minutes of the game, and somehow you choked it away. Somehow you found a way to lose this game. Welcome into the pissed off Broncos breakdown by Chat Sports. Matthew Peterson here, recapping this Broncos Raiders Week 11 loss in overtime, which was an all time disaster by Denver. They had this game, they had the football. And in the moment, I didn't like the decision on third and 10 with a little over, sorry, outside after the two-minute warning not to run the football. Instead, they throw it. It's incomplete. Those 40 seconds they would have shaved off if they ran the football would have been very nice at the end of the game. But unfortunately, no, not to be the case. Derek Carr and the Raiders drive down the field. The Broncos defense, Alex Singleton, they made a nice stop at the goal line. Credit to them. But all at the end, Patrick Sertan, what a bad time to have the worst game of your NFL career. And this is not going to turn into a anti-Sertan podcast because he's been brilliant all year. But unfortunately, he had an all-time blunder at the end. Devontae Adams wide open for a touchdown, and the Raiders walk it off. I'm going to run through my reactions, my takeaways from this game, but this is the question we're all asking ourselves. Should Hackett coach next Sunday? Or is it Dom Capers' interim head coach time? Maybe even Evero, although there's some politicalness behind that because you want to keep him as DC, but Dom Capers is the most experienced coach on this uh, in this front office. He's a consultant. He's not even an official coach, but I think you have to fire Hackett. And Hackett, I thought it was a nice savvy t- timeout he had when the Raiders got that huge play on the wheel route to Jacobs and they were going to fake spike and throw it. And Hackett calls a timeout, sort of cucks him from that opportunity. And you can't blame Hackett for Patrick Sertan blowing coverage at the end of the game or just blown coverage in general to Devontae Adams. But at the end of the day, you are the head coach. And this team had a fourth quarter lead and the offense once again stalled out. This offense does a decent job when it's scripted for them early in the game. And that's that's what you expect because you get to practice that in warm-ups and you get to practice that in the walkthrough on Friday. But Hackett, he's done. He's toast. It's just a matter of when. That's all it is right now. Patrick Sertan, like I mentioned, I don't want to focus too much on this because he has been the number one corner in the NFL this year. He had a bad game. And listen, if his bad game is the Raiders put up a touchdown at the end of the game, so be it, right? It's not like he got cooked for 200 yards and three touchdowns, something ridiculous like that. I mean, when you are so reliant on this defense and they bend just a little, screw the offense. They're the ones to blame for not getting anything going, essentially. Russell Wilson drove down the field, got you know an opportunity to win the game, put the game away, couldn't do it. Just really, really frustrating that once again, this Broncos team had an opportunity to win the game. Maybe a game they didn't deserve to win, but they can't put it away. They just cannot put it away. You want to fire Hackett, which I do, that's fine. But there is a bigger issue right now, and that is this team's inability to close out games. All right, we've got more fiery takes to get to in just a second. But today's Broncos breakdown is sponsored by established titles. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as layers or lords and ladies in English. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. We plant a tree with every order and work with global charities, One Tree Planted, and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. You could officially include the title Lord or Lady on your credit card, plane tickets, dating profiles, etc. It makes a great last-minute gift. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link 
will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking distance. Depending on how many of you want to become a lord or a lady, we can build our own little Broncos kingdom. It makes an amazing last minute gift. Established Titles is actually running a massive early Black Friday sale right now with discounts up to 80% off. Plus, if you use promo code CHAT, you can get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash chat to get your gifts now and help support the channel. That link is in the comments and the description of today's show. Let's talk about Russell Wilson. Because Russell Wilson, in my eyes, didn't have his worst game. Didn't have, yeah, bring it in, baby. That's what producer Jack's doing. That's his favorite thing to do. He walks in the office every day like he's fucking Superman like Russell Wilson. Um, 24 for 31, 247 yards. He had some sacks pile up. He extended some plays. The offensive line wasn't perfect. I thought it played better than maybe expectations, but the Raiders were also dead last in the NFL in sacks coming into this game. So it's not like they were going up against the number one pass rush in the NFL. But all in all, Russ looked like Russ has looked this year. We've been waiting for that magical play in the fourth quarter to push them over the edge. Got them in field goal range at the end. That was nice. Shout out McManus. It's a damn shame that kick got blocked at the end of the first half, which brings me back to just the last two minutes of the halves. The last four minutes of the halves, all season long, have been botched. Today, I mean, the block kick at the end of the first half, the Raiders go down on you at the end of the fourth and the end of the uh, fourth quarter. It's just been so consistent that in key situations, Nathaniel Hackett's team is outplayed, is outperformed. Melvin Gordon, by the way, couldn't forget this. He's back, baby. Melvin put it on the mat. Fifth fumble of the season. We thought we were done, but oh no. Melvin Gordon with an all-time fumble right before the end of the first half. When they're at the two-yard line, about to walk it in, and Melvin strikes again. His second fumble of the season within the five. The first one being in week one against Seattle, and then Melvin Gordon. And Hackett's too spineless to bench him. Because he knows Hackett. Hackett knows Melvin's going to go pout on the bench, and he's going to go tweet about it, and Hackett doesn't want any accountability. Which, by the way, forgot to mention this. Nathaniel Hackett, in case you missed it, was not the play caller today. Clint Kubiak was the play caller today. He had that operation. He had that responsibility in Minnesota last year. And was it better without Hackett calling plays? Not really. They averaged 14 points a game. They scored 16. A marginal difference. Was there a little bit more swagger or moxie to this offense? One, we had some Cortland Sutton sightings, which is great to see because I get really peeved that Cortland Sutton just disappears for stretches the last two seasons. So seven targets, five receptions, 80 yards. He had some acrobatic ones for sure. Kendall Hinton dropped a surefire deep ball as well. So there are some breaks that didn't go the Broncos' way. But at the same time, this is true for all 32 NFL teams every single Sunday. You're not going to have every single ball bounce your way. Your receivers aren't going to catch every single pass. Your running backs aren't going to run through every single hole. The issue for the Broncos is when they run into these hurdles, for some teams, it's a minor setback. For the Broncos, it's a major setback. And for Hackett, he's against the wall. He can't even fathom what to do when his team gets behind schedule just a little bit. If you have not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. If you are looking to join the number one Broncos YouTube channel, especially in terms of getting a post-game show out to you guys as soon as the game ends, join over 10,000 strong here at the channel by clicking onto that subscribe button today. Let's talk through some stats in case you missed the game altogether. You're looking for a quick recap here. Offensively, Denver had 320 yards, 226 through the air, 94 on the ground. I thought Latavius Murray was the best running back. Uh, Chase Edmonds did get nicked up in the game. All in all, the Broncos were relatively healthy from what I can remember, but I'm pretty pissed off right now, so I might miss an injury or two. Third down, 3 of 12. That's a big one. That's a big one right there. I mean, the Broncos, a lot of punts, but... Uh, I mean, they had some opportunities. They had some touch, they had touchdown, field goal, missed field goal. But 3 of 12, 5 penalties for 45 yards. As for the Raiders, all of their yardage, it felt like came in the last 6 minutes of game time. 
four, no, five minutes of game time. Their two-minute drill and the start of overtime. 407 yards, 298 from D.C., 109 on the ground from Josh Jacobs, who just tormented this Broncos run game back in week four when they played at Allegiant. Three of 11 on third down. I mean, make no mistake. McDaniels and Hackett are both Ronald McDonald-sized clowns. It's just that Hackett's nose was a little redder and a little bigger today, and when you squeezed it, a bird flew out. I mean, that's how big of a clown show it was. It was a circus in Denver. Nine for 98 in the penalty department. 22 to 16, the final. I was sitting in the fourth quarter thinking, you know what? This is great. FLV in the chat. The Broncos, they're going to knock off the Raiders. They're going to improve to four and six. They got the Panthers coming up. That's going to be a potential win right there. They could be close to 500 in December. Don't look now. Could the Broncos maybe get things right towards the end of the season? They've got the skill set. Russell Wilson, Hackett to save his job. No, not to be. All right, once I decompress a little bit and rewatch the game and formulate some more coherent thoughts, I'll come back to you guys tomorrow with some more Broncos news and rumors after this loss. But all in all, that's the final, 22-16. The Raiders have owned the Broncos for the last half decade plus at this point, and Denver choked it away. An all-time choke job. They blew it. Nathaniel Hackett, I'll end with these words, you're fired.